Hi, I'm Sides. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to show you guys how you can save money because time is money. And the best way to get more of your time is learn how to produce faster. Learn all of the tricks your DAW has to offer you for free. All you have to do is have the knowledge to know how to use it. And that's where this video comes in. I wanna give you some logic pro tips to speed up your workflow. Let's jump right into it. So I have this little ditty. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get to the workflow tips. All right, so first off, the most underrated tool is the marquee tool. This tool is so useful and you definitely wanna take advantage of it. Because I have three tools here, my marquee is on the second tool. So in order for me to access it, I'm gonna do command, command, and then there it just like shows up. Bam, bam. Now, if you don't have these three tools, your marquee tool will look different and you just hover over it and it'll just tell you how to access it. Sometimes it does it. And if it doesn't, you can just click here and it'll just tell you right over there how to access it. See, this is the right tool click. Not to get too off topic, but if you wanna know how to get the right tool click, all you have to do is press command comma to open up settings, then go over to general, go over to editing. Right mouse button is assignable to a tool. I'm going to use my Logic Pro eBook as a helpful reminder of where these things are. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the table of contents, I'm gonna head over to marquee tool tricks, and then all the marquee tool tricks are right here. So let me show you a few. So let's say I want to quickly mute the shaker right before the second half of the chorus to add some tension and release. So all I'm going to do is press command and then highlight maybe a beat before the second part of the chorus comes in. And then I'm just going to press control M and bam, it quickly muted it. So we can hear how it sounds. So that's pretty cool. Let's say I want to quickly delete um, a bar of the shaker halfway between the second part of the chorus. So I'm going to press Command, highlight what I want, highlight what I want to be deleted. I want to say I want to delete this whole bar. So I'm going to highlight it with the marquee tool, press Delete, and bam, it's gone. <laughs> Cool. Sometimes the best thing you can do for your song is just take some stuff away. Let's say I want to quickly copy and paste a part of the shaker to put over there. So I'm going to highlight a bit of this shaker. Now I'm just going to hold down option. It'll break it up for me. And then I'm just going to drag it over there. Wow. And it didn't even break up this clip here. Put it right back to place. So that's pretty awesome. Let's say I want to keep just measure 11 of the shaker and I want to cut out everything else. And a quick way you can do this with the marquee tool is to crop. So I'm going to highlight just measure 11. And now, and now all I'm going to do is press command slash bam, it cropped it. <laughs> So that's pretty useful. Let's say I want to quickly cycle, oh, I don't know, this part of the chorus. So I'm just going to highlight the part I want to cycle with the marquee tool. And then I'm just going to press Command U and bam. It just cycles that part of the marquee tool. So that is pretty amazing. There are some more marquee tool tricks in this ebook, which I will link in the description, but let's move on to the next section. Now let's talk about the piano roll. I wanna show you some piano roll tricks that are going to save you time and therefore save you money. Ka -ching, ka -ching. I'm just gonna go back to the top in my Logic Pro ebook, and then I'm going to hit on piano roll tricks. Bam! And now I'm going to show you some of my favorite piano roll tricks. First one I want to show you is having these note labels is so helpful. And the way I do that is go over to view and just click on note labels. See if it's not there, it's off. And if it's there, it's on. And then I can see the individual notes. If you don't see them, you just need to zoom in a bit. They need some room to write it out. So that is super helpful. Some really cool things to join notes like this. Let's say I want to just like join these two. I would just press Command J to join, bam. 
Or if I want to repeat a note, I can just press Command R, bam, bam, which is pretty helpful. If I want to open up global tracks here so I can see markers and stuff, all I have to do is press G and we can see the markers that I have up there. I can X out here to tempo. I can click out here so we don't have to have uh, uncheck tempo, uncheck signature, and I just unchecked arrangement. So if you want them back, you just do command right click or command click, select arrangement, movie, tempo, beat macking, signature, whatever you need. But it's pretty helpful that I have the markers here. If I press option C, I can also just color code these markers really quickly. So that could be helpful too. And now I know where the, where the MIDI notes are in the track. The markers are really helpful for that. If you wanna move the track head by a measure, you can just press uh, this bracket Bam. And then if you want to do the other way, you can just press the other bracket. I don't know what it's called. It's these here. And some of my other really favorite tools for here are the selection tools. So let's say I want to select everything after this note. I can press Shift F, which, which will select all the following. So let's say I want to raise the velocity of those. That's super helpful. Let's say I want to select all of the same type. Like I just want to select the following A sharps, right? So that I can just press Shift Control F, right? Shift Control F, bam. And then I want to raise the velocity of just those A sharp twos. Let's say I want to select everything else, the inverted. This one, I'm just gonna press Shift I and then it'll invert everything for me. So let's say I wanna lower those velocities. Maybe I wanna swing those, I don't know. Just cool selection tools. Let's say I wanna select all of the bottom notes. That's really helpful when I am trying to copy and paste a bass line. So basically I would press Command A and then Shift arrow key down and it'll select just the bottom notes. Then I can just press Copy and then I can maybe make a new track and I can just paste them right there. So that's super helpful if I want a quick bass line. And then I wanna show you something else that's really, really cool in the piano roll that when I learned about this, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's say we go into the piano roll. So I'm just gonna double click or press P. And now if you press A, you can actually automate in here. So right now we're on velocity, which is what we want. And if I draw a line like this, it's going to create a natural crescendo for me with the velocity. Check this out. Bam. Now let's listen to it. How cool is that? We can also do it the other way if we wanted to. Natural decrescendo, decrescendo, decrescendo. Now let's say I go over here, MIDI transform. I love this feature too. If you guys don't know about this, you must. So you go over MIDI transform, humanize, and this will very slightly randomize the quantize and the velocity to make it sound more human. So I'm just going to check this out. I'm just going to press select and operate, select and operate, select and operate. See, and it just kind of like randomized everything, okay? But now, let's say I want to add a volume raise, but in like relative to what we already have, right? So this is what we have right now. Okay, but now I want it to be maybe like a relative decrescendo, right? I want everything to lower. So what I'm gonna do is as I draw the line, I'm gonna hold command. Command, draw the line, check this out. Whoa, so did it like kind of relatively. <laughs> that would be kind of a cool way to end the song. So a bunch more piano roll tricks here in my Logic Pro ebook. Check it out below. I have a special link for you with a special sale. Um, all right, let me show you a few more tricks with the arrangement, arrangement tricks to save you time and money. Ka -ching, ka -ching. I'm gonna go over to arrangement tricks. Okay, 
just as I showed you before, you can press G to, to open up these global tracks. And if you want to add global tracks really quickly, all you have to do is press Option G, and then you can just click here and be like, oh, I want to add the arrangement tool, et cetera, et cetera. So something that's really cool about the markers is you can actually create marker sets. So you can do a new set and be like, oh, for this marker set, I want to tell my collaborator that I want to um, add a guitar here. And let's say I want to like chop this up like really easily. All you have to do is hold command and then click and then it'll like chop that up. And so then I'm like, okay, maybe over here I want to um, add a harp. I don't know. This could be just like little notes. And then when you go back, you can go back to the, your other uh, marker set. So you can go back to the arrangement of it. And something else that's really cool is you can convert marker sets to arrangement markers because uh, markers are just going to, they're just kind of like a tab, like a little post note that you can like add. It doesn't really have any like cool functions, but the arrangement tool does actually and let me show you what it could do so i'm going to convert to arrangement markers now we have like the chorus whatever and let's say i want to um move this intro check this out all you have to do is kind of like drag it and then you could just move it there you can like quickly rearrange things which is like super helpful so that's really cool so another really cool thing about the arrangement tools is if you go here and right click and you add a session player, or if you're on the older version of Logic, you add um, um, drummer, then you just click here, new session player, and it'll actually create a drum part that goes with your arrangement markers. You see how it has like intro, chorus, chorus, qu outro. It'll make up a pattern that reflects the energy of the arrangement of the song. So like a typical chorus will have more energy or different kind of energy than the outro and then the intro. But you can see that it's just like a little bit different. Let me show you. And then we get into the chorus, which has like a little bit more energy because of the ride. And then with the outro, I guess they're assuming that this is like a, a go for it outro. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool, pretty helpful little trick with the arrangement tools. Um, another cool thing that you can do to save time is to mess around with parts being muted. And to do that, you just... Um, put the cycle on and then you select command click to invert the cycle. So now it'll skip over whatever's inverted. So that could be kind of like a cool way for you to test out different parts of the song that you want. Another thing you can do is that if you want to repeat this chorus really quickly, all you have to do, highlight the cycled part that you want to repeat and then you just press control command R. Control, Command, R, and then it just repeats really quickly. And then you can press Command Z to undo. If I want to quickly add a space, like a, um, a measure before the chorus hits, I'll just create a cycled section for the, the however long I want to add a space for. So for a measure, I'm just doing this cycled section. And then I'm going to press Control, Command, Z to insert silence length of cycled section. Control, Command, Z, bam. Insert silence, the length of the section. So that is super cool. And I'm gonna show you one more really cool thing that will help you with your arrangement. Okay, let's say you wanna like quickly select things within within the track, right? So let's say I wanna select everything in the chorus and I just wanna quickly select all of these so I can just shift things around. All you have to do is cycle whatever you want to be selected and then you press Shift L and then it'll just highlight everything in the cycled section. So let's say I wanna get over here and then I just wanna highlight everything in that cycled section. I just press Shift L and bam, everything underneath it will be highlighted. Anyways, I really hope this video was helpful. If you wanna get the Logic Pro eBook that works on your iPad, or works right on your desktop. Here it is. It comes with a color version and a black and white version in case you want to print it out. Bam. You can click on the table of contents and it'll take you directly to the chapter. And then if you click on back to the top, it'll take you right back to the top. It also comes with these wallpapers that you can use on your wallpaper or you, some people like to print them out. And it comes with four song starters to help you get inspired to create more music. So right now I'm running a summer sale. So if you're interested, grab it below. I'll put the link in the description. 
regardless of whether or not you get this or not, I really hope this video helps you. I hope you have fun making more music faster, saving you time and money. Please subscribe to my channel and also comment below what you want me to make a video on next. I'll be working on a lot of videos this month. And thank you so much for being here. Bye.